Hi, I'm Liz. I go by Stitch by Liz with an underscore over on Instagram and welcome to a floss tube extra. Um, I have a Black Needle Society unboxing. Actually, I have two. I'm going to film them back to back. Um, if you can see reflection in my glasses, I have a new light. It's amazing. Uh, it's I actually bought it for stitching <laughs> because I needed um, I needed a good light. Um, but I also wanted an, like I, normally I have a lamp on like in the corner over here and I normally have to set up another lamp. So there's light coming from this way when I film. And now if you can tell in my reflection, it's a ring light and it's amazing. And $10 from Kmart. Um, I'll show it. I was going to show it in my next video, but, um, I'm not sure how that's going to work if I'm going to use it for lighting. Anyway, whatever. If you can see the reflection, I apologize. Um, I tried to get it set up so you couldn't, but I feel like it's it's inevitable. There might be a reflection or something. Anyway, moving on. Um, today is Saturday the 5th of November um, and my box has arrived today. So there was a little bit of drama yesterday. Um, I got notification that one of my boxes has gone, had gone missing and they didn't know where. Um, and they said that this box was going to come on Monday and they didn't know where the other one was. And naturally the, it was the trick box that was missing. Um, and because they said it would come on Monday, Ross and I went out this morning. Um, it's like quarter past four in the afternoon. Um, and we got home like 1.30 and then I got a notification to say that both of them, like one was coming today and then the courier is like, I've got, I've got two boxes for you. So I'm like, great. Now I had to like rush and straighten my hair uh, because I can't leave my hair curly when it's this short because it literally sits like up here and I'm not a fan. Um, so yeah, I'm going to open the treat box first, which is the happy Halloween box. I literally have just like cut the top. Um, I have seen unboxing, so it's not like... I don't know what is in here. I have zero willpower when it comes to the unboxings. Um, so, you know, I already know what's in here, but I'm excited anyway. So, um, first up we get the paperwork. Look how cute. Now, I did try the candy corn. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Ross ate the whole bag. So, um, you know, at least someone, at least someone likes candy corn. Um, so obviously in here there is the information, a note from the ladies of the Black Needle Society. Um, and then currently, actually I don't think it's on sale anymore. I think the pre-orders have ended and that was for, I can see, Spring in Stars Hollow, which I've already purchased. So if you are doing it and you're joining the Spring in Stars Hollow Retreat, I'll see you there. Uh, and then on the back is the photo challenge and then a couple of photos from the last um, Halloween box. All right, let's, let's ju jump into this unboxing. First up, there is a lot of wormies in this box. Wormies are these, by the way. Um, okay, where is this? Okay, I found it. Um, now there was meant to be 13 items in this box. Um, unfortunately, the, um, the thread drops were not included. Um, Black Needle released some information about that. Um, and everyone that ordered these boxes should have received a partial refund um, for the item that was missing. So um, if if you haven't, check your emails, check your junk. Um, and yeah, contact the ladies at the Black Needle Society if um, if you didn't get that. But um, they were for both, both boxes. So instead of 13 items, there's 12. Um, and first up is amazing thing so this is the happy halloween treat candle and this was poured by katie of the black needle society 
Uh, we hope you enjoy the smell of cinnamon apples this Halloween, but keep an eye on your candle while it burns. You may find an unexpected treat hidden in the wax. Now, I'm 99% sure when we were on the chat last week, week before, that Katie told us what it was and I cannot for the life of me remember. Okay, I need to hide this from Ross. That's so nice. It's so fresh. Like, it's cinnamon apple without being in your face sweet. Okay, need to need to stop sniffing things on camera. That's really nice. I can't wait to burn it. Um, all right. These these wormies. Um, next up is this amazing sweet treat. Um, so this is the Jack O' Lantern cookie made by Mondo De Laura. Sure. Um, do you think we weren't going to give you a treat to snack on? We hope you enjoy this pumpkin shaped sugar cookie on Halloween or sooner if you can't resist. Now, it's a butter cookie, not a sugar cookie, <laughs> as we found out um, during the Black Needle Society's unboxing because, like I said, I have no willpower. Um, sorry, it's a shortbread cookie. A uh, butter cookie, pretty much. This looks... I can't smell anything, but this looks amazing. I cannot wait to eat this. I think I'm going to have to share it with Ross. Maybe. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, okay. Next up is this amazing Fable Bands headband. So this is the Candy Hall headband made by Fable Band. Um, we had to include some candy in your treat box, but you'll be able to enjoy this kind year after year. Use this exclusive headband to keep hair out of your eyes while stitching or loop it around the back cover of a book to use as a fabric bookmark this October. And this is so, so cute. Um, I do have, this is my second Fable band now. My first one, conveniently, right next to me, is the A Thousand Yellow Daisies one from the Summer in Stars Hollow box. I use it while I'm working. Keeps keeps my hair out of my face. It's great. But I love this one. I'm going to wear this all the time. So cute. Um, excuse me while I get a rubbish bag because these wormies are like everywhere. I love them. I feel Ross would not if they were on the floor. Um... All right, let's go. Everything is sticking together and sticking to Wormies. Lord. All right, this is in a cute little it's jingling orange drawstring bag. Oh, this is super cute. Let me just loop it on here so I'm not not being awkward. All right, this is thread jewelry. Now, yeah, see if I can keep it straight. So this is the spooky stitchery thread jewelry designed by the Black Needle Society. If you can't make it to the cross stitch shop this Halloween, you can at least visit the spooky stitchery complete with a cat and cauldron sitting in the windows. Oh, that's super cute. I love it. It's giving me Frosted Pumpkin vibes, which I know they're the designer for this box, but you know, cute. Um, speaking of the Frosted Pumpkin, sorry for the crinkling. This is the Happy Halloween Needleminder designed by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery made by A Needle Runs Through It. We think this adorable this adorable candy corn is casting a spell for fast and accurate stitching. And look at how cute it is. It's so cute. I This is my first frosted pumpkin slash a needle runs through it. Needle minder. So I'm super excited for that. My god, these little, literally wormies are everywhere. Okay, we have a... We have a beige envelope. That's real stuff down. Mm. 
I pull the weirdest faces while I'm, I'm, I'm unpackaging things. So these are bag pulls, zipper pulls. Um, I'll show you one at a time. So these are the Treat Trio zipper pulls designed by Kit Stokronk. Uh, we asked Kit to create an adorable exclusive set of zipper pulls for this treat box. Uh, how cute is the ghost stitching on its own sheet? Not to mention the frog be gone pull to keep you from ripping out stitches. So that one's the frog be gone. Um, and these do, these do rotate. So if they're upside down, don't stress. Oh my god, it is. Look how cute it is. Oh my god, I love it. Um, and then the cat with Stitch Please. I love them. They're really cute. Actually, like none of my zippers have zipper pulls on them. So, you know, I should probably, you know, put them on some bags. Um, we'll go with the little pillow box if you know. Um, if you've seen one of my unboxings or if you've seen anybody's unboxings, Black Needle Society puts threads in these. And I have been hanging for these since I saw the unboxings because I got some some of this brand floss in a was it in a previous box or did I buy it from the vault? I think I bought it from the vault. But I love them. They're so cute. Ah. Okay, moving on. Um, so this is a treat exclusive silk pack and it's made by Almond M&M's. What's happier this Halloween than a set of silks hand dyed by Ymir? We think this is quite the treat. Um, okay, this is called Pumpkin Spice Potion. Look at how amazing that is. Like cute little nuggets. Like these are tiny, like super tiny. Um, this is Ghoul's Blood. I love this. This is so pretty. Uh, this is Sleepy Hollow. This is Poison Lemonade. Love that. And I'm obsessed with this one. This is called Beetlejuice. And like, let me, because it's come open, but like, how amazing. They're amazing. I love these. These are incredible. Um, I have literally put all my almond M&Ms into a jar because I don't want to use them because they're too pretty. So I'm going to have to find something to, to use them on. Okay, let's, let's do this next. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, this is, as you can tell, a project bag. So this is, oh my God, where am I? I just had it. Here we go. Pumpkin Patch Project Bag by the 805 Stitcher. Tara is one of Katie's favorite project bag makers. So it only seemed fitting we asked her to create an exclusive bag for this box. We hope it keeps your project safe from chocolate and candy stains this Halloween. Now look at how it's stunning. I love this. This is so cute. I get why Katie loves these bags. Like they're so, so well made. My project bags look like trash compared to this. Oh, I like the corners. I like the way she does the corners. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, and it does have... A, that's not going to sit properly. A little pumpkin charm. Oh, I love this. This is an empty project bag, which means it needs a whip. <laughs> no, I don't need to start anything new. Um, I love that. That is beautiful. Um, all right. Oh, whammies. Oh, this is such a pretty color. This is the fabric for this box. Um, so this is Sweet Treat, um, and it's by Mystic Fabrics. I get the Ada because <laughs> even weaving linen scare me. Um, so we asked Misty for a happy teal fabric for Halloween, and she definitely delivered. We even think it may be a great color for the project included in this box. I this is blow it's blowing it out dramatically, like it's not that pale. It is. Oh my god, I need white. <laughs> 
I need a white piece of paper. Do I have a white piece of paper? I always have a white piece of paper. And one time I don't have a white piece of paper. How many times can I say? White piece of paper. Many times apparently. I don't know if this is going to do it justice. No, it's not because, hey, my light is too powerful. No. It's amazing. Oh, there we go. Wow. I love it. Such an amazing color. Teal is is one of my favorite colors and I cannot wait. Uh, I cannot wait to work on this. I love Mystic Fabrics too. I bought some from AD Stash from Mel. Um, and it's amazing. Highly recommend. Um, I know what this is because I got something similar for Frogwarts. And now I have two and I... I'm going to cut this with scissors, so hopefully it's not too crinkly. My, I don't know why my scissors are sticky. I don't know why they're stuck. They're brand new. Anyway. Hopefully it's not too bad. Alright. So this is... <laughs> I'm obsessed. This is the Bewitching Stash Storage Bag. Artwork is by Ekaterina Zarina. We don't know about you, but we have a lot of Halloween projects we're stitching on this October. We'll be using this exclusive bag to keep them all together in one safe place. There's even a friendly witch to cast spells of uh, protection on the contents. Oh my God, I can't read today. Honestly, these bags are amazing and they are so big. Like huge um and they open up real wide um the anyway let's, let's let's zoom in uh it's got some witches some pumpkins some butterflies spiders spider webs flowers you know cute um it has a key attached for you to attach things there is a zipper pocket on the inside. There's three, three other pockets. There's six pockets on the outside here, plus a zipper pocket on this side. Um, I love these bags. It's amazing. Um, like it's a big, it's a big bag. Um, I would store all of my my whips in them, but if they're in there, they'll stay in there because. I wouldn't see them to stitch on them, but I love them. Um, so every time I go somewhere, like if I need to go, um, let me move this box. If I need to go away somewhere or anything like that, I'm totally packing one of those bags because it's super cute. Uh, all right, second last thing is these amazing project stickers. Now my light is too powerful. Um, artwork is by Chani Artwork. Sure. Uh, have you had any Halloween finishes? If you're having a piece framed, you can fill out and attach one of these exclusive stickers to the back of the piece with all of the project information. Now, if you saw my previous video, you will have seen I finished Poisonous Plants and framed it. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen I went on a mess framing of all these things. Now, they can have labels and a couple of them are Halloweeny. So I think I might need to stick one of these on, on the back of them, but like, look how cute they are. They're too cute to be used. <laughs> I love that one. That one's my favorite. Um, stunning, stunning. I love these. Um, oh my God, I have stuff everywhere. Um, and last, but not least, oh my god, and I have the perfect fabric for this pattern, that's not the one that came in this box, is the chart. And this is Happy Halloween, designed by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. We don't know how Amanda and Ashley work their pumpkin magic to make the most perfectly adorable patterns, but we are so excited to include this Happy Halloween, which in our treat box for 2022. Look, and how cute it is. I my, my first frosted pumpkin chart is the stitch along from this year. I haven't stitched any other frosted pumpkins, 
Um, but I love it. Like, look at how amazing. Look at how amazing this is. Maybe I should start it. How big is it? 83 by 70. Okay, that would take like a few hours. Maybe I should start it. <laughs> um, it says that it's 5.9 inches wide by 5 inches tall on 28 count over 2 and 14 count 8 over 1. I stitch on 18 count. <laughs> so it's going to be tiny. Uh, and I have all of the colors. Maybe I need to start it. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see. I don't need any new starts, but I'm like, mm, I need to, I need to stitch that. That's super cute. Anyway, that's everything that was in the box. Um, I love everything. The bag is amazing. The chart is amazing. The fabric, the stickers, the headband, the little nuggies. I love them all. Um, and thankfully my box arrived before the 10th of November so I can take some photos and hopefully join the photo challenge. Um, there are suggested prompts on the back for them. Um, the dates, obviously, you know, if you want to post them on those days, post them on those days, but everything's due by the 10th of November. And I can get them in before the 10th. So I apologize if you see spam on my Instagram with some photos of all of these thingies, but they're amazing. I love them. Um, that's it for this box. I'm going to film the trick box, which I am incredibly excited for. Um, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, do all the YouTube things, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next unboxing or my next flash tube. Bye.